Students new to digital photography, perhaps they've purchased an upmarket camera like this one, but with all the features that this can offer, they find themselves working the camera on auto. Not because they want to, but having tried various things with the camera, they've activated something that they cannot get out of. They're not getting the pictures that they are looking for, but auto, at least for the time being, provides the answers. So what has happened? What has gone wrong? Well, the one thing they have not discovered in their exploration is reset. What does reset do? Well, it returns the camera back to the factory default, cancelling all settings, pushing the camera back to as supplied out of the box. Camera manufacturers do not always make it easy to find reset in the menu. Uh, in some of my cameras is under settings. If you don't find it there, then you'll have to consult the online manual of your camera. Those of you who play Monopoly, we refer to Reset as the get out of jail free card because it frees you of all the settings in the camera so that you can start all over again. If having found Reset, you are confronted by a number of options and one of them says full, I suggest you use that to clear absolutely everything. Now, it should not delete your pictures, but I would strongly advise that you download them first before activating the full version or perhaps any version of Reset. One thing you might find that it does change if you set it previously is the date and time. That is something I always like to have accurate but I do have to remember to make the change when we go to British summer time and then back to Greenwich mean time. I tend to forget that as a matter of interest. I don't wish to run down auto completely for the novice, it is a good place to start. But when you look at the menu, you will notice a number of facilities and features are blanked out. Now, if you feel a little nervous to go into the more advanced settings, that is to say, shutter priority and aperture priority, I recommend program, because under program, all the features become active. Program, yes, like auto, sets the shutter speed and aperture accurately, but you now have the full features of your digital camera at your disposal. Some experienced photographers confuse program with auto, thinking they are more or less the same thing. They are not. Yes, both calculate the exposure automatically, but recent cameras today actually have what's called program plus shift, where you can alter the aperture or shutter speed without going into the dedicated mode. And doing it incidentally that way is often quicker. The other thing, of course, that is important is that program now gives you access to features in the camera, like white balance, uh, the way the camera meters, uh, exposure compensation, and the way you store the picture in the camera. So for me, particularly when I'm assessing a scene, program is just as important as the dedicated modes of aperture and shutter priority, which are really the preserve of experienced photographers, which I hope shortly, one day, you will reach. Matters like uh, white balance and exposure compensation, of course, I'm going to deal with in later programmes. For now, I'd like to present you 10 pictures 
all taken on program. Yes, I have made some of those other controls I've been talking about in camera and of course something to be discussed much later on what I do with my pictures in post-production in products like Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. All of that is going to come later. In the meantime, I hope you'll enjoy looking at my selection of pictures. So please keep tuned for further information specifically designed for beginners in digital photography.